private eye biz had been slow. Real slow. Fortunately, in my line of work, a client is only a knock-knock away. Huh? Who's there? Candace. Uh, Candace who? Candace Lame Routine, let me in. Excuse me, Elliot, uh, have you got a minute? Of course I do, Ace. I'm a watchdog, get it? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> what a crowd. <laughs> All right, kid, get it. Why the act? Correction, why the bad act? Just trying to spice up my animal magnetism. <laughs> I'm finally gonna ask Terry for a date. <laughs> Big mistake, kid. Huh? Don't do it. Romance is for saps. Oh, come on, Ace. Love makes the world go round. So why the alter ego? Oh, right. Terry's really gonna be interested in plain old me. I've gotta be her knight in shining armor. Fear not, fair damsel. Tis I, <laughs> Sir Elliot of Shag. Here to rescue you from your dire dating doldrums. <laughs> uh, uh, hi, Terry. Uh, uh, been standing there for long? The kid's right. How could she resist? Uh, Elliot, are we interrupting anything? Uh, didn't, um, um, oh, no, good, because I'm in a real spot. Rags, I'm running late. Reschedule. Can Artie play here until I get back? Forsooth! Anger! Yoinks! And away! Uh, thanks. You're a real peach. I owe you one, kiddo. Toodles. Toodles? <laughs> Yo, Elliot, can we get back to work? I got a potentially paying client here. Say no more, Pilgrim. I'm back in the saddle. Allow me to introduce you to... Candace. Candace Dane. Dane, huh? Any relation to Harlequin Dane, self-made gazillionaire and yanker of every chain in Dog City? He's my daddy. Quite a pedigree. But uh, what's a rich girl like you doing hiring a guy like me? I think someone is after me. I think you're right. Meet me at midnight at this address and come alone. Slow down, doll. I'll need more to go on before you start pushing my buttons. Oh, yes. Will this do? Normally, my fee is five bones a day plus expenses. But my rates are due for an increase. Pier 12, Dog City Docks. For a girl from the right side of town, you sure hang out on the wrong side of the tracks. Toodles, Mr. Hart. Yeah, toodles to you, too, uh, Miss Dane. Sure, the case paid in spades, but for some reason it also left me with an uneasy feeling gnawing at my insides. Then again, I hadn't eaten the dog's age. I decided to mull things over, over a steaming bowl of hot chow. And in Dog City, one brand stood tall above all others. Choices good to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Got some gravy, chunks of meat, more gristle, and no filler. His master's choice is the best. It tastes like dear old mother's. Once you've tried it, you'll agree you'll eat it and no other. And remember, his master's choice dog food contains not a speck of cereal. You've got Harlequin Dane's word on it. I had to hand it to Dane. It was a doggone fine product. Hmm, what'll it be today? His master's choice puppy blend, his master's choice light, uh -huh. his master's choice extra spicy, yep. choice yep. classic, uh -huh. his master's choice gristling bits. One colon killer combo coming up. Hey, I wasn't ordering, I was just. Bleh. Talking to yourself again, Hart? It beats talking to you, Vile. Ooh, lucky you. Beat is today's sacred word. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hold it, Bugsy! What gives? Why the roast? No reason. I merely had the boys out for their bi-weekly paper training. Uh-oh. I can see by Mr. Wristwatch that the little paw is on the two and the big paw is on the twelve. Gotta go. Toodles, Uncle Bugsy! Toodles? I'm telling you, Hart. Kids today have got no dedication to their craft. That's what comes from letting them up on the furniture. Bugsy. Uh -oh. Whoa! Now that hurt. Uh -oh. 
Here's your order. Put it in a doggy bag. <gasps> what I didn't know was that I was about to feel a lot worse. Puss in boots, I presume? Call it a hunch. Call it intuition. Call it the sign on the front gate. But something told me I was about to meet Harlequin Dane. Hey, it's my mom! Your mom? Where? Where? There, there! Oh, that, that's a, um, nothing. <laughs> Uh, say, uh, speaking of your mom, Artie, uh, I was wondering, uh, is there any particular sort of guy she, uh, you know, uh, hangs out with? Oh, sure. All mom ever talks about are the demolition dogs at her office. There's, uh, Bluto, and Jimbo, and Dino, and Frankie Two Toes, and... Hey, if you've been in here doing secret sketches of my mom, <laughs> that could only mean one thing! What? You could probably teach me how to draw her too, couldn't you, Mr. Shag? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, I, I could, Artie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mr. Shag. Yeah, yeah. I'll go get my little Picasso paint smock and come right back. Good. So, <sighs> Terry goes for blue dog collar types. Hm. I will endeavor to keep that in mind. <laughs> well, if it isn't his master's choice himself. Uh, that's right, Mr. Hart. I am Harlequin Dane, the richest and most powerful dog in all of Dog City. You don't look so great, Dane. Hmm. Uh, Maurice. Uh, what's the matter, Hart? <laughs> A cat got your tongue? Uh, the babble of fact, he does. I suppose you're wondering why I've asked you here. I I'm a little curious, yeah. I have reason to believe that someone is after my daughter. Romantically. Romantically? Hold it, Elliot! <laughs> you know how I feel about romance? Oh, come on, Ace. Trust me. This is gonna be a really great story. Sorry, no sales, son. Ace Hart sticks his tongue in the line for no doggy. Okay, Ace, you win. We'll start a new story. I'm calling it The Case of the Suckered Seamus. <laughs> I believe this is where we left off. So, uh, your daba is thin from bun, eh? Uh, who's a lucky dog? Funny you should ask, Har. It's you! You got it all wrong, then. Your daughter and I were pitching a deal, not woo. It says you. My daughter will see who I want her to see, Mr. Hart. Thirsty Howl, the fourth. I'm warning you, Seamus. I can make things most unpleasant for you. I have many friends in high places. Uh, here you go, HD. I cut the crust off just the way you like it. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. That'll be all. Maurice, lights. Stay away from my daughter. What's this? Puppy Blend, Choice Classic, Gristle & Bits, Maurice, Security! His master's choice dog food is the very foundation of my financial empire! You've been sniffing around my dog food plant, haven't you? Maurice, Pain! Show Mr. Hart what happens to nosy doggies. Time out! Hold it! It's just my lunch! Oh. It did never mind. Maurice, show our guest the door. <laughs> and remember, stay away from my daughter! No doggy tells Ace Hart what to do. Especially a rich run to the litter like Harlequin Dane. Ego, it's off to the waterfront. I go. I decided to pursue the case, but only to rub Harlequin Dane's nose in it. As for Candace, I found it hard to believe that anyone would want to harm a sweet kid like that. But what do I know? I can't believe it. Why so upset, Ace? Forget your marshmallows? Well, if it isn't Rosie O'Gravy, Chief of Detectives, what brings you out on a school night? An anonymous tip. And you? I'm meeting a client. Looks like you're ten minutes and ten sticks of dynamite too late. Find anything, Sparky? The Big Book of Bombs? Explosive reading. And that's not all. You'll get a bang out of this. This book belongs to... 
Hey, Zod. Rosie, come on, it's a setup. Why would I want to hurt Candace Dane? I barely knew her. Him? He's the one! They were <laughs> involved! Barely knew her, huh? I'm sorry, Ace, but you're under arrest. You had the right It was to looking more and more like I was taking right? the floor. So I took the plunge instead. Ace, no! You're only making things worse. Artie! Come on, son, it's time to. Van Gogh, actually. It's you, Mom. I'm painting your picture. It's just like the shrine, Mr. Shaggy. Yo, Artie, have a biscuit. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Elliot? The one and only. Sweet fleas. Huh? Now listen up. You, me, movie, Saturday night. What do you say? What do I say? What do I say? I'm surprised at you, Elliot. <laughs> Artie, heal. Oh, oh, pow wow. That was great, Mr. Shag. You sounded just like those guys that work for Mom. Yeah, I know. What went wrong? She can't stand those guys. Something about them being male chauvinist pugs or something. Well, see ya. Wonderful. Don't say I didn't warn you, kid. Now the cops are on my tail and your tail is between your knees. Maybe you're right, Ace. Romance is for saps. It only leads to trouble, heartache. Jail. Nothing doing, Ace. Maybe I can't save my reputation with Terry, but I can sure save yours. Since old Harlequin was so worried about me snooping around this factory, I decided there was only one thing left to do. Snoop around this factory. I had a pretty good hunch that his master's choice himself had something to hide. But having the cops on my tail wasn't going to make my job any easier. Everything seemed to be on the up and up, but something smelled fishy. On second thought, it smells more like... Cat? Yeah, boy. Cat! Yeah! Well, what have we... Bad doggy! Mr. Harlequin told him to stay away from factory. Boss gave Maurice orders to make doggy pay. I'm warning you. I got a secret weapon. Uh-oh, Maurice, he's getting away. Get it, get it. Gets him every time. Toodles, Maurice! Toodles? Elliot, you call that detective lingo? Ace Hot would never say toodles. Think about it, Ace. Maybe you've heard it somewhere before? <laughs> toodles, Mr. Hart. Toodles, Uncle Bugsy. Toodles? Toodles, of course. That's it. Toodles was the key to the whole case, but I needed Bruiser to help me bust it wide open. Forget it, Hart! Yeah! We'll never tell you that Bruiser is ensconced in our secret mountain hideaway. They spilled them, all right. It was a regular cleanup on aisle seven. Fortunately, Bugsy's secret mountain hideout was no secret. It was just as I figured. Bruiser was there, all right, and showing all the signs of a dog under the influence. The influence of Candace Dane. <laughs> Watching those two crazy kids was almost enough to make me think that maybe there was something to this romance game I was missing. <laughs> There's something about puppy love that can soften even the most hard-boiled heart. But I'm a private eye dog, and I had a job to do. Hi, kids. What jumps? I see you survived your little fireworks display. Mr. Hart, I, I can explain. Allow me. You couldn't stand being at the short end of Daddy's leash, so you staged your own exit. But you needed a fall guy, a patsy. The frame was in place and Ace Hart fit the picture. Stop me if this is making any sense. He's good. We know you're in there, Ace. Come out with your paws up. We've got the whole place surrounded. No need to shout, Rosie. So, uh, how'd you find me? Another tip, non-anonymous. Your fry fit is hot! It's life in the big doghouse for you. Wrong, Daddy! Candace Dane? My darling daughter! She's alive! And she's with Bruiser? She's toast! Looks like your tail's out of the fire, Ace. I don't know how you do it. It's just a walkie in the park for Ace Hot. Oh, 
always remember, romance is for saps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey! Put it there, Holly. Looks like yous and me's is about to become family. Never. My daughter will marry the dog I choose. Thirsty? Here, boy. But, Daddy, I don't want to marry anyone. Rusey and I are just friends. Uh, but uh, good friends, right? Now, as to the china pattern... Enough! When I bark, every doggy listens. Candice, I order you never to see that overgrown pit bull again! I decided it was time to play my ace in the hole. You won't be ordering anyone around after you hear what I gotta say, Dane. Goodbye forever, Daddy! Candice, come back this instant! Heel, girl, heel! Maurice, bitch! Hey, give a guy a chance to play his ace, will ya? Candice, I order you to heal. I'm a big girl now, Daddy. I'm tired of you controlling my life. Didn't I always give you the best trainers? But, Daddy, I never got to play. Come on, step on it. The things I do for love. Oh, Brucey, we can't keep running forever. <laughs> I'll say. Goodbye, Brucey. Toodles. All right, Daddy. You win, as usual. I win. I win. I knew you'd see things my way. Everybody always does. And now, by the power invested in me by the authority of my incredible wealth, I pronounce you not so fast. All right, Dane, you asked for it. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! <laughs> uh, I think the salt water come out into your gun, Mr. Hart. It's not a gun, Bruzy. It's cereal. Straight from the Dane Dog Food Factory. <gasps> I wonder how many loyal customers you'll have left once they find out his master's choice contains... filler. Daddy, how could you? Now, 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 Mr. Hart, you seem to be a reasonable fellow. How many zeros would you like? Hmm? Put your checkbook away, Dane. I'm negotiating on behalf of my client. If not money, what is it you want? I want you to leave these two crazy mixed-up pups alone. Let Candace run her own life for a change. I can do that. Oh, Daddy! Oh, Daddy. Mr. Hart, I give you my word of honor that from this day forward, his master's choice will never contain a speck of cereal. If it ever does, you get a visit from Ace Hart. <laughs> <laughs> You just can't resist a happy ending, can you, Elle? Well, if you can't have one, draw one. Uh, Terry, uh... Hello, Elliot. I, uh, I came to apologize. I didn't realize that you were just rehearsing a character for one of your stories. Artie explained everything. D -d -d Artie? He did? Yes. And he also told me about this. Uh, oh my, um, I, I can explain. I, I bet you're the... Impressed. Very impressed. You are? Oh, yes. I was wondering if you'd... if you'd finish it for me. You mean me? Uh, paint your... Uh, Portrait, yes. Well, uh, I, uh, I... I'd be honored. Oh, good. Then it's a date. Why don't you grab your supplies and come right over? Toodles! Toodles? Congratulations, kid. You got yourself a date. Yeah, a date. A date? Oh, no. What if I make a fool of myself? This is all your fault, Ace. You should have talked me out of this. Hey, I tried. Yeah, well, you should have tried harder. What if she doesn't like how I paint her? What if, what if I draw her nose too big? Relax, Elliot. You'll do fine. Relax? Are you kidding, Ace? One little slip of the brush and I'm history. Well, maybe I should call it off. Oh, brother. <laughs>